Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. And today's topic is mega colon. And before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, mega colon is a condition where the colon and the large intestine becomes wider than normal. You know? And uh, this distension can also affect the uh, system and uh, extend to the rectum you know. now and the proper term for this widening is uh, a dilatation uh, it's not an increase in length but uh, a dilated portion of the colon while other parts usually remain the same width you know and the term mega colon literally means large colon you know and uh, it's important to note that mega colon is a term used to uh, denote widening uh, which is without a mechanical obstruction you know and uh, understanding the colon will become uh, uh, like uh, so understandably uh, the colon will become dilated if uh, uh, there is some kind of mechanical obstruction blocking the outflow of its contents you know and uh, the colon can stretch so there is a point where it can be considered to be like uh, over distended you know and the stretching also prevents the muscles in the colon wall from functioning properly and its contents can therefore uh, not be moved so in, in severe cases and the colon can tear uh, although perforation is uh, uncommon you know but it can happen you know. now uh, the exact mechanism by which the mega colon rises is not uh, completely understood you know and uh, the mega colon does not arise with a kind of mechanical obstruction that prevents the movement of the chronic contents you know so these colonic contents can be i mean it's not abstract mechanically you know so instead it appears that uh, the mega colon may be a consequence of a muscle or the nerve problem um, or uh, possibly a combination of both you know and uh, uh, if the stretching of the colon wall does not send signals to the nervous system which in turn sends the signal back to the wall then the muscles in the wall will not contract you know so similarly uh, if the muscles are not functioning properly then it cannot contract at the right time to push the contents along you know and uh, uh, the problem may be due to kind of uh, nerve impulses conduction and reflexes you know or maybe uh, neurotransmitters which transmits the signals uh, across a, a gap you know and uh, uh, overstimulation of the muscles by the regulating uh, nerves you know or reduced input from the regulating nerves, you know, or the excessive uh, uh, opioids acting on the uh, opioid receptors, uh, which offsets the reflexes, you know. And there are two types of the uh, mega colon. One is acute and one is chronic, you know. And, uh, and the other term that is uh, known as a toxic mega colon, you know. So the term toxic mega colon refers to the inflammation of the colon along with the abnormal widening you know and uh, this is an uh, like in contrast to acute and chronic uh, colon where the dilatation may exist after an inflammatory phase or even uh, without any kind of uh, uh, any uh, preceding inflammation you know and the cause of to toxic uh, megacolon may uh, therefore overlap with the acute megacolon you know, uh, mega colon, you know. Uh, now uh, there are a number of different uh, uh, causes for each type of mega colon and uh, some of these may be like inflammatory bowel disease or uh, like uh, uh, Chagos disease or medications you know now the symptoms uh, of the mega colon itself uh, and uh, that of the underlying cause can uh, overlap to a certain degree you know and uh, the symptoms include like uh, abdominal distension or uh, diminished or absent bowel sounds you know or accumulation of the abdominal gas you know or uh, abdominal discomfort or palpable abdominal mass you know and uh, if uh, there may be other symptoms of the uh, toxicity if there is a 
toxic megacolon, you know, especially. And that may include like a fever or rapid heartbeat or dehydration or abdominal pain and tenderness, you know. Now, the clinical features along uh, with their medical history uh, may be uh, indicative of the megacolon and uh, rectal examination needs to be done by the doctor, you know. And uh, he will ask you the questions about the history of this condition and uh, he will uh, perform kind of uh, imaging tests like x-rays or um, uh, CT scan or the abdominal ultrasound or colonoscopy, you know, uh, just to find out the, uh, uh, to confirm the diagnosis, you know. Now once diagnosed, uh, then the treatment options for the acute, toxic and chronic megalon can vary, you know, and the treatment should be directed at the underlying cause. And the preventing further distension of the colon and avoiding the complications uh, such as uh, perforated colon. Some of the treatments uh, may include like uh, decompression with the rectal tube and uh, colonoscopic decompression, you know, or enemas and the digital uh, uh, kind of disinfection may be considered, you know, and uh, like uh, medication to stimulate the nerve ability and increase the uh, kind of uh, chronic mobility, you know, motility in fact, you know. And, uh, uh, bulking agents may be used in chronic megacolon, uh, but the bowel habit uh, retaining in chronic uh, megacolon, you know, and the surgical removal of a part of the, that colon, which is known as colectomy, you know, uh, may be needed sometimes. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.